Dear brother and sister, today I wish to share an important message with you about a phrase that has been circulating in our communities. Our Lady, don't go out after 9.30 p.m. as they're coming behind you. This message has generated concern and even fear among many, and it's essential that we, as Catholics, approach this topic with faith, discernment, and wisdom. Point 1. The power of faith and trust in Our Lady Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, holds a special place in the hearts of Catholics around the world. She is our mother, protector, and intercessor. In times of uncertainty, it is natural to turn to her for guidance and comfort. Our faith in her should be unwavering, and we should always remember that Our Lady is a source of love, not fear. If you believe in, then subscribe the channel. Point 2. The Importance of Discernment in the Catholic Faith Discernment is a vital skill. It is essential that we approach messages like these with a discerning heart and mind. Our Lady would not wish for her children to live in fear but in faith. Therefore, we must carefully consider the source and credibility of such messages before accepting them as truth. Point 3. Evaluating the message before we act upon any message. It is crucial to examine its content critically. The message advises not going out after 9.30 p.m. because they're coming behind you. Who are they? And what evidence do we have of their intentions? It's important to seek answers and verify the accuracy of such claims. Point 4. Trust in God's protection, our Catholic faith teaches us that God is our ultimate protector. While we should be cautious and vigilant, we must remember that God's love and protection are with us at all times. Psalm 91, 1-2 reminds us, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Point 5. The role of prudence prudence is a virtue emphasized in Catholic teaching. It encourages us to make wise and cautious decisions, considering the safety and well-being of ourselves and others. It is reasonable to be cautious when going out late at night, but our decisions should be based on practical considerations and not solely on vague messages. Point 6. Seeking guidance from church authorities, our local parish priests and bishops are trusted shepherds who can provide guidance and support in times of doubt or fear. If we have concerns or questions about such messages, we should not hesitate to seek counsel from our spiritual leaders who can help us navigate these situations. Point 7. Relying on community support as a Catholic community. We are called to support one another. Instead of succumbing to fear, let us look out for our neighbors and loved ones. We can enhance safety by traveling in groups, communicating with family and friends when we are out, and staying informed about local safety measures. Point 8. Trusting Our Lady's messages throughout history, Our Lady has appeared to individuals with messages of hope, repentance, and love. Messages attributed to her are often a call to prayer, conversion, and faith in her Son, Jesus Christ. We should put our trust in these messages that emphasize spiritual growth and God's mercy rather than messages that incite fear or paranoia. Point 9. Promoting a culture of love and faith. Our faith teaches us to be bearers of Christ's love in the world. Instead of dwelling on messages that generate fear, let us focus on spreading love, kindness, and faith in our communities. By living out our Catholic values, we can create an environment of safety and trust. Point 10. Prayer and Divine Protection in Times of Uncertainty Prayer is our greatest strength. We should offer prayers of protection and guidance to Our Lady asking for her intercession and interesting ourselves and our loved ones into her care. As Catholics, we believe in the power of prayer and its ability to bring us closer to God's protection. Point 11. The nature of the message. 
We must recognize that messages and prophecies attributed to Our Lady have been a source of guidance and inspiration for countless faithful throughout history. Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, holds a special place in our hearts and faith. She is known as the Mother of God and a powerful intercessor for all of us. When a message purports to be from her, it understandably garners attention. Point 12. The need for discernment in our faith. Discernment is a vital concept. We are called to test the spirits and messages we encounter. This means not accepting everything at face value. We must evaluate the source, the content, and the intended purpose of the message. Is it in alignment with the teachings of the church and the gospel? Does it promote love, peace, and good works? Is it consistent with the character of Our Lady, who is known for her compassion and guidance? Point 13. The importance of prudence. Prudence, one of the cardinal virtues, guides us in making sound decisions. It encourages us to consider the context and circumstances in which a message is received. In the case of the message advising not to go out after 9.30 p.m., it is important to remember that prudence includes assessing the credibility of the source and the specific details provided. Is there concrete information about who they are? What is the basis for the suggested curfew time? Point 14. The role of apparitions and messages throughout history. There have been reported Marian apparitions and messages. Some, like those at Lourdes and Fatima, have been recognized by the Church as authentic. These messages often contain valuable spiritual guidance and calls to prayer, penance, and conversion. However, it is essential to distinguish between approved apparitions and private revelations. Messages from approved apparitions carry the weight of Church approval while private revelations are considered personal and non-binding. Point 15. The call to obedience to church authority. As Catholics, we are called to be obedient to the authority of the church. The magisterium, guided by the Holy Spirit, has the responsibility to discern and make judgments on matters of faith and morals. Messages and apparitions are subject to the church's discernment and it is the Church that provides the final judgment on their authenticity. Therefore, it is essential to wait for the Church's guidance and approval before embracing any message as binding. Point 16. The potential for fear and anxiety. Messages that instill fear or anxiety without clear guidance or a basis in the teachings of our faith can be detrimental to our spiritual well-being. Our Lady's messages have often been sources of comfort, hope, and guidance. They encourage us to draw closer to her Son, Jesus, and to live virtuous lives. Messages that create unnecessary fear can lead us away from the peace that Christ offers. Point 17. The call to prayer and discernment in moments like these. It is essential that we turn to prayer and discernment. We should pray for the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Seek counsel from trusted spiritual advisors and priests who can help us navigate these messages and provide clarity and wisdom. Point 18. Remaining grounded in the Gospel. Above all, we must remain grounded in the Gospel and the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our faith is centered on Him and His words are our ultimate God. Jesus called us to love one another, to seek the truth, and to trust in God's providence. Let these principles guide our response to messages and prophecies, even those attributed to Our Lady. Point 19. Community and Support Our faith is not an individual endeavor, but a communal one. We are called to support and encourage one another in our spiritual journey. In times of uncertainty or when facing messages like the one in question, it is crucial that we come together as a community to discern, discuss, and pray. Our collective wisdom and faith can help us navigate challenging situations. Point 20. Trusting in God's plan. Finally, 
We must always trust in God's divine plan. Our lives are in His hands, and He knows what is best for us. In moments of uncertainty, we must lean on our faith, trust in God's providence, and remember that He is our ultimate protector. Conclusion Dear brothers and sisters, as Catholics, our faith should always guide us. While messages like the one in question may raise concerns, we must remember that Our Lady's messages are about love, faith, and drawing nearer to God. Let us trust in God's protection, be prudent in our actions, and seek guidance from our spiritual leaders. In this time of uncertainty, may we turn to Our Lady for strength and guidance. Through prayer, discernment, and community support, we can navigate any challenges that come our way. Let us not be driven by fear, but by faith, love, and trust in the divine protection that God offers to His children. Share this video with your friends and family. May Our Lady watch over us, and may God's grace be with us always. Amen.